This video will discuss the reaction coordinate in chemical kinetics. So we're going to define the quantity Q, which we call the reaction coordinate. And Q is some quantitative, but maybe nebulous or unknown measure of how far our reaction has proceeded towards the products or, or from the reactants. All right, some quantities that we want to look at. Um, delta RE, the energy of reaction. Delta E with this kind of double bar, that's the energy of activation, or EA uh, from our previous video on the activation energy, where this double bar type of nomenclature just indicates activation, or something that occurs at what we call a transition state. All right, so let's consider that we have what we're gonna call an elementary chemical reaction here, which is something where the only chemical step that occurs between these two processes is what we've, def what we've described here. So we have our reactant going to our product with a rate constant of K1, and we have the product which can convert back to the reactant with a rate constant of K minus one. So some quantities we can define here. We have our energy as a function of the reaction coordinate plotted versus the reaction coordinate. So we start out with our reactants at some minimum energy here, and then we gain some energy. We go up to the transition state, which is the highest energy point with respect to our reaction coordinate. And then from there, the energy goes downhill until we reach a minimum at our stable products. So our energy change during the reaction is the energy of the final state minus the energy of the initial state. It's the energy of the products minus the energy of the reactants. So delta RE is indicated by this arrow in white there. But what we're interested in in kinetics is often the energy of activation. So what I've got here is delta E of activation one, which is this difference in energy going to the reactants, uh, going from the reactants to the transition state. So E TS minus E of R. Then similarly, we can think about the reverse reaction going from the products to the reactants. The products have to climb the hill in reverse and then go to the reactants, where its energy of reaction is the negative energy of the reaction of the forward reaction, but it now has its own energy of activation, delta E of activation minus one, where our energy, uh, our energy change of reaction here is equal to the energy of activation in the forward direction minus the energy of activation in the negative direction. So we can relate the forward and reverse energies of activation through the energy of reaction. All right, so that would be the simple case where we have a single, what's called elementary step, a single net chemical reaction that's occurring there. So alternatively, what we could have is this kind of situation where we have three distinct steps as we go. So the first one we have R, which undergoes a reaction to form intermediate one, I1, with a rate constant of K1. I1 goes to intermediate two, rate constant K2, and I2 goes to form the product K3. So each of these can occur in the forward or reverse direction, rate constants K1, K minus one, K2, K minus two, and K3, K minus three. The energy of the net reaction going from the reactants to the products is, as we can get from Hess's law, the energy change of reaction one plus the energy change of reaction two plus the energy change of reaction three. And the energy change of each individual sub-reaction along the way is equal to the energy of activation of its forward direction minus the energy of activation of its reverse direction. So here we have our reactants going up to transition state one to intermediate one, which is some minimum in energy, thus it's a stable chemical species. Going up to transition state two, down to intermediate two, second reaction going, being in there. And finally, our third reaction going from intermediate two up to transition state three, down to our products. So we have delta E of activation one going from R to TS one, Delta E of activation two going from I1 to TS2. Delta E of activation three going from I2 to TS3. And then similarly for the reverse direction, we have delta E of activation minus one from intermediate one to TS1. 
delta E of activation minus 2 from I2 to TS2, and delta E of activation minus 3 from our products up to transition state 3.